or call it when you meet the right guy you'll know it's it's you don't have to try so hard things will just work out and that's exactly what happened with her and Vince <laughs> She was downtown, she got a new job in ICU downtown um, St. Eve's. And was, she was in about two weeks when um, she was given report to the night nurse who happened to be Vince. <laughs> and I guess the nurses that are here put them together because they saw sparks in them. But yeah, I'm, I'm a, few years, a few years older than Vince, as most of you know, so I got to watch him grow up. And there was a couple of formative events. Um, the first one that comes to mind is I had to watch him, and uh, I was about 14 at the time, and he might have fell on his head. And so it explains a lot about Vince, I think. But um, people from work have heard us say, me say this before. I say Vince and I are like that 80s movie's twins. Uh, I'm Arnold, and he's Danny DeVito. And so when he, when he met Colette, I thought, Wow, doesn't she know he's like Danny DeVito? And uh, I don't think she figured it out. And so I'm really glad for him because I think Vince has done very well for himself. He was gentle and kind, very good looking. <laughs> and he liked her quirky ways about her. So I said, oh, Colette, he's the one. But I got to say, Vince, it took you a little while. You were a little bit slow moving. <laughs> First of all, I, um, I never thought this day would come, actually, <laughs> so I'm so happy. Um, first, I also wanted to give glory and thanks to God for making this day possible and bringing us all together. You know, uh, we waited a few years and a lot can happen in that time, so I'm glad that things kind of like the stars aligned for this to be able to happen for us. Um, special thanks to Father Tony. 